Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Tiffany Savona. And those areas into Northeast Philadelphia and Bucks County saw anywhere from six to 10 inches of rain over a three to four hour period. So there were a lot of problems to our east yesterday. We had our own fair share of problems here in the Susquehanna Valley. There was flooding in Lancaster County. Check out some of these rainfall reports over the past 24 hours. Quarryville 3.44 inches. Peckway over two inches. Lancaster Airport just under two inches. Windsor and York County 1.45 inches and Susquehanna Township in Dauphin County just over an inch of rain and this is after heavy rain on Sunday as well. So things just continue to get more saturated across the Susquehanna Valley. And today is another impact day for the potential for strong to possibly even severe thunderstorms this afternoon. Hot and humid 88 to 92 with feels like temperatures in the mid to upper 90s. Air quality is in that moderate category today due to ground level ozone and the UV index is going to be on the high to possibly even moderate side depending on if these clouds do break up and cloud cover is going to be key today to watch because the cloud cover could limit the storm coverage and the severity of the storms this afternoon if indeed we don't see any break. So right now in Harrisburg, it's overcast and patchy fog out there and those low clouds keeping temperatures cooler at this hour compared to where we were at this time yesterday. So we're at 80 in Harrisburg, 74 in Lebanon, only 79 in Carlisle, but where we're starting to see more sunshine, you can see the numbers are a bit higher and that's across the southern tier of counties. 82 in Lancaster, 85 in York, 88 in Gettysburg and look at the dew points low and middle 70s. It's just a tropical type air mass out there and it feels already like the lower 90s as you get closer to the Maryland state line. Super Doppler 8 showing that the clouds starting to break across Adams County. We're starting to see a few more gaps in the clouds now in York County. We do have one lone heavy downpour out there south of Dickinson into Cumberland County, and this will be moving into the Mount Holly Springs area. So here's what to expect going forward. Some scattered activity through the afternoon hours, and then the coverage may become a little bit more widespread across our westernmost communities as we head into this evening, and then things start to wrap up once again after midnight. So the severe weather threat today, same as yesterday. Flash flooding is in that moderate category because the ground is very saturated. It's not going to take much to cause some additional flooding out there. Large hail tornado threat low and some of those storms could contain some damaging winds. Your 10 day forecast showing that the 90s continue, but so do the storm chances. Looks like Thursday will finally get a break in the action. We'll be dry and then on Friday, slight chance for a few more storms, 94 and chances for storms go up as we head into the upcoming weekend.